it was 2004 and I did this particular uh, painting. Um, and it was basically, I had never painted a clown before, and I don't think I've ever done it again, but um, the subject of the piece was how sometimes human beings can seem kind of foolish uh, around their pets, in this particular case a dog, and it was, uh, and I remember my wife Jamie said, you know, this is really good, this is where you need to go with your art, and and that was kind of the beginning of it, and a lot of the pieces um, after that, from like 2004 to like 2007, 2008, had to do with like a subject in the painting that was dealing with the overload of information. And so it, it, that seemed fascinating to me. And I was also learning a lot about uh, duality and uh, cognitive sciences. And I thought, well, geez, you know, if I can find a way to paint um, these people interacting uh, with technology in an abstract but tangible sense, that could be uh, that could be really that could be really great. And so a lot of my uh, these these pieces from the mid aughts, um, you have like a person or a character, and there's this sort of like abstraction that's swirling around them, like just the fall in love or uh, red infusion. And, and, and basically the person is, is sort of dealing with something internally, but it's also external because connectivity, uh, Wi-Fi, all that sort of a thing. It's, it just seemed to me it was going to be really interesting to paint uh, something that had to do with our relationship with technology and how it was making us feel. Um, not uh, to be judgmental about it, um, but, but to be honest about it, uh, for better or for worse, you know, this, this is the moment in which we are becoming one with the internet and uh, and so these these particular pieces all you know I they were just they were fun to do because at that time I didn't you know I was still exploring myself as an artist and I was a young man I had just gotten married we were uh, we had bought our first town home and here me and Jamie are just sitting here uh, in our orange loft listening to records um, developing our styles and and a lot of great pieces came out of that.